Hey guys, this is Chad, and I just ran into an interesting situation. What if you're using Unity's Starter Assets third person controller asset, and you wanted to change the basic walk or run animations, and now you're not getting any sound for your footsteps? I can help you fix that. The very first thing I'm going to do is actually create a new project and import the asset. Once you create and open up your new project in Unity, it's going to look like this. Now your layout might be different. But this is typically what you'll see in a new project. I'm going to click window and go to package manager. And then I'm going to change this drop down here from in project to my assets and look for the third person controller asset. Third person controller. And then once I find the one that I'm interested in, I'm going to go ahead and click import. And what that's going to do is download the dependencies and import all of the packages needed for this asset. Now Unity might restart itself and it's a bit weird when it does uh, but what it's doing is it's going to install both the new input system and the asset itself and you want to capture all these now you don't want to have to try to come back later and fix that. There we go. So this is the alert I was telling you about. This project is using the new input system package but the native platform backends for the new input system that are not enabled in the player settings this means that this means that no input from the native devices will come through do you want to enable the backends doing so will restart the editor if i click yes it will install that new package for the input system but i will have to redo this step but i want to do it now then later and troubleshoot as to why my input might not be working so the window is back open i'm going to perform my Search again, third person controller, find the one by Unity that I want to use, import. Now this time it will not ask me if I want to restart the editor. And it didn't need to re-download the packages because they've already been downloaded and imported or installed into my project. So I'm just going to import everything. So uh, now inside the scene view, when looking at the player armature, and I click play, we should hear the footsteps of the character. And we can also tell that too on this left side in the um, hierarchy tab that a footstep game object will be instantiated and then deleted shortly after the sound plays. This is to ensure that the audio source that's on the player armature isn't being used 100% of the time kind of prohibiting other sounds to emit from the player armature object. These footsteps only occur when a step is being occurred, which we'll get into very shortly. And I just wanted to demo this real quick. So I can hear the footsteps. I can also see the instantiation of the game object being made in the hierarchy. It, it's called one shot audio, but that is working properly. So, back to the question. What if I wanted to change the animation that plays when you either walk or run and you lose those sound effects? So, to find a new animation for walking that will demonstrate this, I'm on Mixamo and I'm going to find an animation that kind of fits the style I'm going for. How about this crouched walking? And we'll stick it in place and it's looping. Just slow it down slightly and download it. Now back in Unity with that animation downloaded, what I'm actually going to do is right click in my project tab and I'm going to say import new asset and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Here's the crouch wa walking animation. That's exactly what we just downloaded. I'm going to give it a new name. So crouch walking is good. hit apply. I'm also going to mark it as loop. I want it to loop. There we go. Okay, so now we have a new animation imported. Now we need to assign it to the player controller. Double clicking the starter assets third person animation controller. I can see this blend tree and I'm going to click on here. Here's what we currently see. All right now what this does in demo is that sound effect that is going to be broken and I'll get into that very shortly but if I click on the blend tree itself and then I browse for a new animation to play I'm going to select my crouched walking animation 
now when I click play, we should see when I walk, so I don't hold the shift key, the crouch walking animation. Ooh, and that's ugly. That's definitely not what I want. And that is because when I imported the animation, I did not mark it as humanoid. So going back to where I imported it, I go to rig, and then I'm going to mark it as humanoid. Let's try that again. There we go. Now the, the rotation is offset a little bit. So let's go ahead and tweak that a little bit. So I'm still selected with the crouched walking import settings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the player model in this preview that's behind me. I'm going to move it here in the middle. And I will try to stay out of the way. But I can see, even in this preview, that the rotation is slightly off. So underneath the loop time is some transform settings. And just changing the based upon at start dropdown from body orientation to original pretty much fixes that. So I'm going to apply that. I'm going to try it one more time. Perfect. Perfect. But, like I see, I don't see any one-shot audios being instantiated in the hierarchy tab, and I don't hear any sound effects. So let's look into why. So when I open up the animation in the animation window, I can see that at every keyframe it's, it's synced, but there is an occasional event that occurs. And this event emits out an on footstep method call. And when I open up the character controller and I look, I can see that that event is actually what instantiates the game object to play the footstep. So what I need to do is I need to look at the animation that I have imported and when that foot touches the ground or close to it, that's when I'm going to invoke the same kind of method. So I'll go and close what came with project and actually the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the crouched walking animation and I'm actually going to duplicate it so I have a reference to it outside of the model. And that's why I'm going to double click to open up the animation window. So what I'm going to now do is map that new animation that I just duplicated into the blend tree on my animation controller. So here's the blend tree and here is the crouch walking animation and I want to use the new one that I had just duplicated and I need to get the inspector back there we go okay very good so I can see the footsteps walking and so what I'm going to do is open up that crouched animation And selecting the player armature, I'm going to find the walk animation, crouch walking animation. So here I can see in my editor the animation. So I'm going to find when the footstep clicks or, or collides with the ground. And it looks like between these two animation frames is when I want to play it. So I'm going to create a new event. And I'm going to play the third person controller methods on footstep animation event. And I'm going to go a little bit further and right there. I'm going to insert a new event. And same thing, third person controller, methods, on footstep. Then I'm going to save that and click play. And let's see how close it is.
Very good. And that seems to have done it. Now, if you were to do it, come up with a custom animation for your run animation or jump, th these are the same exact steps you would take in that scenario too. Download and import your new animation, replace it in the blend tree on your animation controller, and then add the custom Unity events on the keyframe in which the sound needs to be played. I appreciate you guys watching and joining me today. If you have any questions, leave them below. Subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.